The waters may look calm, but there is a turbulence underneath which could unlock an energy boom. Last summer, actually, we had a comprehensive uh, survey done of the wind energy area, so the site where we're going to actually construct this project in the ocean. And that was uh, both with sonar to look at the surface conditions, but also to take samples from down to 300 feet in the ocean floor to see what the profile of the sediment was like. So we can understand from an engineering basis what to expect as we design this uh, uh, wind, wind farm. Maryland has embraced wind energy. The 750 megawatt wind farm in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Ocean City promises not just electricity, but development. Paul Rich is U.S. Wind's project manager. Why do you think people are, are, are trying different ideas like Well, that? you know, the, the allure of renewable energy is that the fuel source is free, right? So as an economic matter, once we've exhausted our uh, other forms of fuel, fossil fuel, what have you, this is still free. So let's develop it, let's capture it, let's diversify our fuel supply mix for generating electricity. And these types of projects provide that sort of opportunity. U.S. Wind and its Italian subsidiary has developed farms in the Netherlands and Italy. The first turbines in Maryland will start spinning in 2020. It's not the only project they're planning to build. New Jersey and South Carolina are also creating their own wind farms. This project's just the catalyst, right? I mean, the, the OREC will help this project get off the ground. It's like the, um, it's like the anchor tenant in a shopping mall development, the Offshore Renewable Energy Credit Program provides us a revenue opportunity for the contract, and that leads to the rest of the build-out. Workforce development is probably the, one of the biggest challenges we have because there is no industry here in the U.S. for offshore wind. So we're essentially trying to be a catalyst for other uh, for companies to come here from other countries. The next phase of Maryland wind farms is the awarding of contracts to lay the cable from the site back to shore and creating the platforms that will hold the turbines. I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.